the Daily Mail, Steve. What have they got? Uh, victory for the bravest head teacher in Britain is their headline. This is Catherine Burble Singh, um, which it, it says she's been called the Britain's strictest head teacher by herself. Yeah, uh, to be fair, <laughs> which you know that's the way it goes. But it, this is about the school prayer ban was upheld after a pupil lost a high court challenge. But don't worry, it will not impact their pocket money because we paid for this through legal aid. So enjoy. <laughs> um, the judge dismissed uh, the Muslim pupils' claim that the policy that they had in this uh, Michaela community school was, just, was discriminatory. What I love about it, if you get through into the details, mm. that the the ruling is you knew what you were getting into. Basically, mm -hmm. it's known as the strict school, and you know what the rules are. So of all the schools that are, that you are going to stick to the rules, it'll be a strict one. The rules are that you don't get to do this praying, yeah. you, that, that you're, however they phrased it, the showing of your religious faith will be in some way curtailed. You knew about it, then the mum still sues, and here's the best bit, the mum also has another child who's going to go to this school, yeah. and there's another court case where they, I think we've found the mega Karen. Yeah, yeah. If you know no, this that's is happening. Right. That is extraordinary that they have made it, and this is one of the most oversubscribed schools in the country. Yeah. It's a state school which achieves results that a lot of private schools would absolutely kill for. Yeah. It's, it's incredibly successful with its children, uh, with its pupils. It's not just about strictness, not just about morals. Their, own, their GCSE grades are off the scale. And she wants all of that, and yet she still wants to interfere with how the place is run. The yes. mother I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, so these uh, Muslim pupils uh, wanted to go to this school that yeah. had a, a set of rules that made it successful and, yeah. and prosper. Uh, and then once they were there, they wanted to change those rules. Yeah. Uh, and I just, uh, I wonder if there's some sort of parallel. But the interest, I know what you're saying, but, uh, that, but the reason these rules are imposed is in fact largely for the benefit of other Muslim pupils who don't want to have to feel that they need to go to prayer five times a day, that there is some kind of, that the peer pressure. So do you see what I mean? It's like, it's not like, I mean, there's like a Muslim majority within that school mm. that are happy with the Michaela rules as right. well. So... Keep religion out of education. Yeah, absolutely.